I'm out today looking for a reliable place for Natalie to catch a few pike from her own kayak. She really wants to catch a couple on her own. So I'm out on the Mississippi River today. And I've got a friend with me. We're scouting out a good place to catch pike. So we're going to have a little competition here of who can catch the most inches of pike. And the other rule is that if you catch a 40 incher, you automatically win the contest. So I'm going to start out throwing a jointed shad wrap, number seven, in a perch pattern. And then for some bigger ones, we're going to throw a number five MEPS Comet. Let the games begin. Sounds good to me. I'm going with the Comet first. Sean's got his first one already. Oh, there's one. There we go. We're in the lead now. Let's see what we got here. 25, a little over 25. 25! Oh, this is a monster. I'm wasting precious time here unhooking this comet from the net. Meanwhile, I don't know. Sean's got a, a monster over there. <laughs> I don't know. She is just a half inch over 36, 36 and a half inch pike. Ooh, there's a nice one. Look at that. Oh. Darn it. That was a beauty. There's one. Ooh, that's a good one. There we go. Nice. Had some real nice ones followed up. Yeah. It's a good spot. Come on back. All right, here we go. Number two is 27 all right 27 and 25 we're at 52 inches there you go sean just got his third one how many inches are you at now 87 87 52 to 87 There's one. All right. No, uh, not a big one. That scores us some points, though. Probably about 20. All right, let's see what we got. 
there he is. Decent fish. He is 24. All right, 24 inches plus 52. We're at 76 inches now. Ooh, that's a nice one. Number four. All right, we've taken the lead. Here we go, fish number four. Gonna put us well over 100. We got 27. 27 more inches. 27 plus 76 is 103. The sweet spot here seems to be about 8 to 10 feet deep. There's lots of vegetation in here and the pike seem to be just sitting on top of the plants. Twenty-eight. Twenty-eight plus one oh three would be a hundred and thirty-one inches. He really wanted my bait, as you can see. He really bent that wire up. This might give Sean the advantage he needs. Oh boy. Alright, I think that's pretty much back to normal. So we better start catching fish before Sean passes us up again. Is that two hits? Yeah? Yeah. Well, they're probably just looking for a comet. Okay. <laughs> Here, I'll see what, what they think of this. He really, really screwed up my bait. It doesn't feel right. Uh -oh. It bent up the wire. Okay, never mind. I guess they still like it. Come on, man. <laughs> Number six, a little guy. Number six. We got 21 inches. There you go. Wait a minute. I can't believe my eyes. Sean has changed to a Meps Comet. <laughs> Is that a number five? Oh, it's a musky killer comet. Yeah, what do you oh got? boy. You got a number five? I got a number five on. Well, since you're in the lead, I figured I gotta break 40. Yep. All right. I believe they're in here. 40 incher for the win. Yeah, you're getting all those little ones over there. <laughs> <laughs> There's one. Number seven. Not bad. Another mid twenties. I've had like six packs. No hookups lately. Well, there we go. Well, this guy broke the middle hook of my comet, so I'll take that out for him. Fish number seven is twenty eight. Twenty eight inches. Twenty eight inches puts me at an even one eighty. This has been an amazing bait today. I've always liked these comets, and this number five is just killing them today. There's one. Doesn't feel real big though. Not bad. What the hell? <laughs> what do we 
we got here? 27. It's 27 inches. That's going to put us at 207. I upsized my bait and then I caught catch a small one. <laughs> Weird how that works. And the count's at 207 to 136, but Sean just got another one over there. Sean's at 170 now. He can make up the difference with one fish. I don't even know how many fish I've caught now, but the score is 199 to 207. We almost lost the lead there. This one is 24 and a little over a half. We'll call it 24. 24 inches. So that puts us at 231 to 199. Oh man. He came up to check it out, but then went right back down. Oh, there he is! <laughs> oh. This is just incredible pike fishing here. All right, we're at 231. This one is 27, so that puts me at 258. There's fish number 9 or 10 or something like that. 27 incher, that's a nice one. There he goes. Okay, this one is 26. And there he goes. 256 plus 26 makes 282 inches. You're at what? 224. <laughs> 282 to 224. Oh, this is a large mouth. All right, first large mouth of the day. It's a nice one. Wow, this might be a record large mouth for me. Oh, here's a pleasant surprise. That's a 19 and a half inch large mouth. New record for me. A pleasant surprise during our amazing pike action out here. All right, there you go, buddy. There's a fish. Oh, lost him. There's one. Oh, got off again. You know, I gotta let some of these fish get off to give Sean a chance to catch up here. Sean's got one. Oh, <laughs> oh man, probably the last six fish between the two of us, we've lost all of them. contest stands at 282 to 224. I personally have lost over 100 inches of pike in the last 10 minutes. Sean also. So either they're striking short now or they've destroyed our comets to the point that they can't catch a fish anymore. We're not sure. Neither one of us really wants to change our baits after the success we've been having. There's one. Oh man, 
He shook it again. Oh, there's a new one. <laughs> All right, we got this one. And this one is 26. Twenty-six and a half. We'll call it twenty-six. Two eighty-two and twenty-six would be three hundred and eight inches. There's that one. Another really nice fat pike. Sean's got another one over there. In the net. I gotta pause for a minute here to rescue a dragonfly. We'll let him hang out on the fish finder for a little while. There he goes. Okay, we're at 308 plus 23. That puts us at 331 inches. We are at 331 inches and 251 inches, which means that the two of us have caught almost 600 inches of pike in the last few hours. Potato 7. How about we say that the contest was done at 8.30? Okay, fair enough. 600 inches of pike. <laughs> Sean's got one. Wow. This one's got some power. Nice one. Sean's catching up. Twenty six. Two fifty one plus twenty six is 277. 277. We have exceeded 600 inches of pike in one evening of fishing. All of mine on this MEPS Comet number five. Sean's been using mostly a musky killer comet, also a bass spinnerbait before that. Oh, just missed another one. We got about six minutes left. Sean just pulled in another one that's going to push him over 300 inches. What was my last score again? 277. 29. Nice. So, 306. 306? <laughs> yeah. We are at four minutes left. Sean just put another one on the board and he's at 307. I'm at 331. Sean could easily pass me up with one fish. Four minutes to go. Could be a that could be what Sean needs to pass me up. Three minutes left in the game. <laughs> This is a tire. Oh yeah, that's about a that's about a twenty-four. <laughs> <laughs> Sean needs twenty-five to win with three minutes left. You're not gonna believe it. The twenty-four and three quarters? It's twenty-four and a quarter. <laughs> ah. Which means we round down. It's a tie game. Which we're tying it up. Three minutes left. Alright, I'm gonna catch another one. <laughs> I can't believe we've caught 662 inches of pike today. Okay, we're neck and neck, 331 inches each. We get three more casts in this corner and that's it. Contest is over. Somebody gets a fish, they win.
final cast for each of us. That's it, Chief. That's it. Tied at 331 inches. All right. That's, actually, that's fair. That's a pretty good ending. The comet's tail is just about to fall off. Center hook is missing altogether. The wire is bent in the minnow and above the minnow. This thing's put up a good fight today. My tail's pretty ripped up too. Oh yeah. <laughs> Teeth marks in it and the dorsal fin too. Oh yeah. All right, that comet's going on the wall. I'll buy a replacement.